Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another unboxing for you. Uh, this one has been through the ringer. This diamond painting comes from Midwest Diamond Paintings. I will have them linked down below if you would like to check them out. But first, I'm going to get this open. Uh, this is my first time opening a painting from Midwest Diamond Paintings. The designer of these two paintings actually contacted me on Instagram ages ago. So thank you so much for contacting me. She said that she thought that you and I might be interested in these diamond paintings. And I was like, yeah, I'd love, I'd love them. Let's have a look at them. But on the way here, I guess the post office just wanted to, you know, damage the boxes. So let's, let's see what we got here. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. All right. Oh, is that everything? Oh, there's something at the bottom. Hang on. All right. Let's see. There's a little bag stuck to the bottom, but I don't think that there's anything in it. Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was in it. All right, so let me get that box out of the way. And let me read the note that they sent me. One second. All right, sweet. So I got a message from the owner of the store named Gabby. She started Midwest Dazzle in March. Uh, they're a small new business and she has full crystal drills as well as regular diamond paintings, I believe. Yep. And she also included something special in here. Uh, all of their paintings are fully licensed and she gave me a special pen. And I'm really excited to have a look and see what, what all is in here. So first of all, it looks like this is, y'all, aw. So this is a little like screw top wax caddy. That's really cute. I like that. Um, I'm just going to pop this in this little baggie so the parts don't get lost. There is a silicon, uh, uh, what you call it? tray holder. So if you work on an easel or a slanted surface, these are great because you can put your drill pens and your uh, trays on them and they won't slide all over the place. Plus they actually stick to double-sided adhesive really well. Uh, you can use this to cover an area of the painting when you're done working on it. So I've heard, so I've heard. I don't know about poured glue or the or the TSA type of tape, but that's awesome. This is the X pen that she was talking about. Oh no, it got broken. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Gabby. Great idea, but unfortunately, it looks like it almost looks like candy. Um, maybe the resin didn't cure enough and it fell apart. But this is supposed to be for your multi-placing needs. So you can put, imagine that the full X is here and you can put all the tips into each end of this. Um, I don't know how comfortable that would be necessarily. Maybe if these were longer. Do you know if the spaces here were a little bit longer? That's a cool idea. I just, um, the double, the, the bubble wrap did not save it. But thank you so much for thinking of me and for branching out and trying something new. Uh, we love that. So well, here we have two kits. Uh, these, I'm going to start, I'll start with, it doesn't really matter which one I start with, does it? Let's have a look. This one is for the season. Let me see if I can get these drills out. Check this out. This is a full drill square crystal kit. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So full square drill crystals and then the black is going to be 310 and the picture is this beautiful pumpkin mosaic. It's a 50 by 40 square drill with crystals. So it has nine colors and I think it's going to work really well because this is kind of like one of those pieces, uh, like a coloring page or a coloring app, you know, you don't really need a lot of colors. They've got some instructions. They've got their own little saying, meet your sparkle. That's cool. And look at these beautiful colors. I'm going to look at them in just a minute. We've got a 
toolkit. This is a little bit different. They've got blue wax, squishy, and then they have the this type of tip, which is the plastic tip. It doesn't have the harsh uh, bronze tip, so that'll be probably a good idea with those um, crystals, so it doesn't scuff up the top of the, the drill. Um, but they do have the regular bronze tip on this end, just so that, you know, you have, you have an option, which is cool. I like that. And then here's the canvas. They taped it together. Hang on. This is so cool. A square crystal. And it's a decent size. Look at this. How cool is that? So we've got that mosaic where you've got all the black lines and that'll be regular black drills, but then the inside bits are all colored crystals. Now, as for feedback, let's let's look at the drill field because I can see something right away. I think that, I know for a fact that um, this, this is actually not too bad, but if I had another dark symbol close to 310, I might, not be able to see this symbol very well. It's very blurry. Um, and then these symbols, like sometimes if you make these with a white, the symbol as a white character instead of a black one, it'll pop up off that color a little bit better. Um, same in areas like up here, if you can see, I think this is supposed to be a rising sun symbol and that's like a, a Saturn symbol. Um, you can see this one isn't so clear, so, um, it's okay because I know that, you know, I know they're different colors and there's not that many colors in this diamond painting, so I'm not trying to nitpick or anything, but if you are thinking about trying something, oh, what is going on? Look, look at the beautimus, beautimusness. Um, I can, I can easily tell that they're different colors, but if you were going for a more, confetti filled painting then that might be that might be a little bit of a problem but let's have a look at the sticky Ooh, it's really really sticky poured glue that's wonderful um if you could see you you watching the video can see these little uh wrinkles in the cover paper don't worry about it it's fine that happens with the poured glue canvases you don't want it to be so tight that it rips the glue off the painting kind of thing. Look at this. They have their, their name here at the top, Midwest Dazzle. This is on that heavy duty oil cloth, but that's okay. I don't mind. Um, if you wanted to upgrade, you could, but you know, I think that this is actually really nice. They did a good job of cutting it. It doesn't look all, you know, weird and scuffed up, but let's have a look at these diamonds real fast. I'm just going to pull them out. Oh, these are cool. All right. So in there, you have this piece of paper. You could use this as a uh, legend, or you could use it to label your containers. It's just regular glossy paper. And then they've got DMC numbers. Ooh, look, it's 666. These are super shiny really pretty 890 which is a dark green 972 820 oh that's so pretty as a crystal it almost looks 3d 740 you gotta have that in a pumpkin 307 700 got a big old bag of 310s they look pretty good. Nice. And then we have this huge bag, 3325. Very nice. They're super glassy. Oh, I'd love to see what these look like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So we have the nine colors here. I have to say it's tempting. It's tempting. If I didn't have this drills and chills piece that I have to finish by the end of Halloween, 
I would absolutely do this right away. This is going to be great. I think if you're interested in purchasing this one, I'm going to have it linked down below, but this will be great for those of you who like color blocking and especially little sections because you can outline a little bit the piece you want to do in black and fill it in. Really great for multi-placing. This would get done in no time, like max one week. So yeah, thank you so much. This is a beautiful painting. Uh, let me clean this up and we'll look at the second one. Here's our second diamond painting. This one is super colorful. And I believe this is also a crystal kit. Let's see. Yes, this is also a crystal kit. This one came with just a regular run-of-the-mill toolkit, but that's okay. I've got plenty of toolkits. Uh, two plates of pink wax, a pink pen, and a green boat. Uh, but then we've got crystals. This one, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that says, but uh, it looks like there's 19 colors on this one. It also is an oil canvas, but look at that. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. All right, this one looks like uh, maybe this was their first uh printer because you've got you know product name animal that kind of thing um, but that's okay uh, there's 19 colors in this one the drill field is a little bit hard to see let me bring you up close I'll show you in the darker areas because you can see here there's like a you can kind of see the a symbol but it's super hard to read uh, the camera this this camera is showing it off way better than in person but if I put a light pad under this it's gonna be no problem hang on let me show you you ready let's count down three two one see now that a is a little bit easier to read now um, but definitely the number five I didn't even know that was a number five so for diamond paintings like this I highly recommend a light pad but if I will I will speak to um, I will speak to the company and see if they still do this type of canvas, but even so, I mean, we're working with what we got here. But if I were to give some feedback, it would just be the printing on, on things like this. Sometimes those diamond painting uh, manufacturers, it takes a little while for uh, for companies to like get them to understand what we want. <laughs> so I totally understand. but. This is beautiful. This is so colorful. I'll pull you up again. Please don't mind my vacuum cleaner in the background. So this one, I can see that there is, this is probably the first one that I've seen where it's like a, a picture that's been printed because you can see actual lines. Do you see these lines, y'all? Do you see those lines there? You can actually see the lines around the eyes and stuff like that. I wonder how this is going to look with the drills on because it is really gorgeous. You know, there's all these details behind the drills. Maybe they'll show up when you put the diamonds on. I, I, I love this piece. This is so summery and so beautiful. This is a, what size is this? It says here a uh, 56 by 46, but I think it's a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, she actually wrote on the listing here. Um, let me bring it up. She wrote 40 by 50. So, and the artist is Alina Fayankova. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay, let's check out. Let me move this. A little bit um let's check out the sticky oh yeah that's really good glue glue really nice glue got the legend on both sides uh this one did not come with the inventory so you would have to like you know copy the legend to to label your containers but it's not a make or break deal you know when i say this stuff it's just i'm just trying to be factual so let's see the colors we got Oh, they're so pretty. There's 19 of them. 19, 18, 17, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18
awesome. So we have all of our colors, presumably, um, labeled in these baggies 1 to 19. So very easy. You could work from the bags. These are what the drills look like. So they're this the round crystals. Very pretty. They do not have DMC numbers on this one. It's just number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then capital A, lowercase b, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And the I is the lowercase. The rest are all uppercase. That one almost looks black, but it's actually gray. We've got some purple, red. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, green. It's like a carry green. Eight. I said carry. I meant Kelly. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been in Ireland too long, Wynn. That's a gorgeous green, too. Got a really light gray. This one's a pinky purple, a pretty pink, really bright green in there. We've got purple again, some more blue, ooh, that's pretty. Some light baby blue, and then some more like gold. Very pretty. Wow, I love the colors in this kit. This is gonna be so pretty to work on, I think. And if you have completed this, please tag me so that I can see it finished because I'm really curious how it looks. But good luck to Midwest Dazzle. The, you know, these are really cool. Um, these were sent to me as a gift and, you know, just for feedback. But truthfully, I mean, there's only a few things that I could say, which is mainly about the printing on the canvas. But... I really love the idea that they're doing square crystal drill kits as well as regular crystal drill kits. They have licensed artwork and I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. They are based in the United States, so they will ship out of the United States. So for my international friends, that might be a consideration that you have to make. If you happen to have any questions about this kit, about you know possible shipping or anything like that, please reach out to them. I will have the website and the links to these paintings down below, as well as their social media if you'd like to go and talk to them. But thank you so much, Gabby, for sending me these kits. I really like them. They're super nice. I like the detail in this one, but I also like the fact that you're selling ones like this too, because some of us really like color blocking and using our multi-placers. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for leaving me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more diamond painting unboxings and diamond painting content as well as crafty content in the future. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.